Why have so many Asian men been seduced by the red pill community? And what can we do about it? It's a pattern I've seen all too often, but let me tell you, there's a better way forward, and I'm gonna show you how. I'm JT Tran, and I've spoken at Harvard and Yale, and been featured on Fox, ABC, and more, coaching single Asian men on how to meet, attract, and date the women of their dreams in a holistic way. Let's dive into why the red pill isn't your friend and what you can do instead to find real success in dating, life, and happiness. Let me start by telling you about one of my students, Matt. Matt was deep into the red pill before he found the ABCs of attraction. But what is the red pill community all about? Well, TRP, or red pill, is part of the broader manosphere, a movement that promotes a worldview rooted in harsh realism, particularly when it comes to dating, relationships, and gender dynamics. The term red pill comes from the movie The Matrix, where taking the red pill means waking up to the harsh truths of reality instead of staying blissfully ignorant by taking the blue pill. The irony here, though, is that this metaphor about waking up to reality was created by the Wachowskis, who are trans women, a fact that seems lost on much of the red pill community. In the context of this community, taking the red pill means recognizing what they believe to be the truth about female nature, hypergamy, the idea that women are always seeking to marry up in societal dynamics that, in their view, favor women over men. They push the notion that a man's life should be focused on money, muscles, game, frame, claiming that once you have money, you can have unlimited access to women and can control any relationship on your terms. They advocate for a return to traditional gender roles where men dominate and women submit. But here's where things get especially tricky for us Asian men. Even after they tear down the current social structure, the new hierarchy they want to establish still places us, Asians, at the bottom. The red pill community is often riddled with racism and they use terms like rice cells and curry cells to refer to us, reinforcing the idea that we're less desirable. Their vision of an ideal world is one where not only do they overthrow feminism, but they also revert to a time where non-whites are still at the bottom of the social ladder. I understand why the red pill might seem attractive to some Asian men, but the harsh reality of hypergamy can sting, especially when you see the statistics showing the high outmarriage rate of American-born Asian women, often to white men. It feeds into the fear that we as Asian men are somehow less valued in the dating market. But the red pill is not your friend. Sure, some of the strategies they discuss, like improving your financial status or getting in shape, can absolutely be beneficial. But the community itself looks down on us Asians. They're not here to uplift us. They're here to perpetuate a hierarchy that still leaves us at the bottom. Beyond the racism, the red pill community is toxic for your mental health. It's filled with bitterness, negativity, and a worldview that encourages you to see every interaction as a battle, every woman as a potential enemy who could betray you for someone with higher status. This mindset stunts your growth as a man. It keeps you stuck in a cycle of anger and resentment rather than helping you forward. Now, back to my student, Matt. He got to the point where he was fed up with the bitterness and negativity that the red pill community feeds off of. He realized it wasn't helping him. It was holding him back. After attending our boot camp and then going on our Latin tour, Matt started dating and sleeping with more women than he had in his entire life up to that point. He learned that the red pill wasn't the solution. It was the problem. With our help, Matt found a better path one that led to real connections and a happier life. So instead of swallowing the red pill, I always tell my students to focus on their happiness and growth. Don't waste your energy being a bitter, angry Asian man over who other people are dating. That kind of thinking doesn't improve your life. It just drags you down. At the end of the day, it's better to take what I call the yellow pill, a mindset rooted in self-respect, cultural pride, and positive growth. Focus on becoming the best version of yourself, on finding joy in your journey, and on building the kind of life that makes you happy. And if you're looking for a way out of the red pill trap, if you want to learn how to truly succeed with women like Matt did, then the ABCs of Attraction Academy is your answer. Our online training program has over 50 hours of advanced lecture videos, infield demonstrations, and everything you need to master the art of game and start seeing real results in your life. Plus, you can try it risk-free for 30 days, no strings attached. So what are you waiting for? Let's keep moving forward, focused on what truly matters, your happiness and your journey. Links in the bio, let's get started. And if you want more insights on self-improvement, confidence and dating, make sure to like the video and follow me.
Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back.